What is going on everybody, GSAM here today with another Sony Vegas Pro 11 tutorial and uh, what I'm going to be showing you how to do today is basically just overlay an image on top of a video in Sony Vegas. Someone requested it, um, so I finally got around to actually making this tutorial. I've been real busy at work with like training stuff, so I haven't got around to doing it just yet, but here we go, sitting down to do it now. So all he really wanted to know was how to get an image, like if someone was sending in a question for a Q&A video or something, how to get that image and to put it onto your video. So basically what I've got here is I have just the stock image. This is just one time I got replied to by Woody's Gamertag and I was like, oh my god, mega fanboy moment. So I saved the image and anyway, now I have it. So yeah, there you go. There's your image in here. I just have Connor's montage um, because he I helped him edit it together ages ago. So I just it's just something for me to put on a stock footage. So there we go. So anyway, once you've got your video and your image, you want to make sure that the image is on this top layer track here and that your video is on the second layer down. Uh, all of your images can go on the same layer here for all your questions, it's, it doesn't matter, it's just a matter of positioning where you need them and they can all go there because they're not going to be running over top of each other. So then what you want to do is say the question comes in at, I don't know, a minute in, you put the image there at a minute, click on it, all you want to do is click this little square here, event, event pan and crop, you click on that, brings this up. Now what you want to do with this is you want to grab this arrow in the corner and reduce the size of it because obviously you don't want that big thing covering your entire screen during your Q&A and then you're just going to click in the middle of this area, in the middle of this F anywhere where you've got the four arrows. So you don't want to have one where you've just got the two arrows like that, you want one with the four arrows and you can move it and uh, you can bring it up to you know the top of your image or uh, sorry you just want to change that to widescreen mode first sorry and then if you do it you'll be able to put it anywhere on the screen. Sorry, I should have told you that before. So you want to, all I did there was click down here and I went to widescreen TV aspect ratio and that allows you to move the image anywhere because I had it set so it could only be in that square it was originally in. And then you just put that up at the top or wherever you wanted to put it. I haven't got a very high res image but uh, if you were screen capping it off Twitter or something for the questions you obviously would. And yep, that's pretty much how you do it. So then you can exit that and you can also click here with that arrow and you can make the question be there and appear for as long as you want. And there you go, it'll appear on top of the video, just like that, question there, when you're doing your commentary or whatever, and then when the question is done, it'll go away, just like that. Now another quick little thing I'm going to show you how to do is, if you don't want the image to just go BAM and be there, you want it to sort of fade in so it doesn't so, like, shocking, you can actually click here where it says, it'll, if you drag your mouse over this top little blue square right here, a uh, blue triangle, sorry, it'll say fade offset. So if you get that there and you click click down, drag it across, you'll see it goes like this. And for a fade on this, you probably just want a little one. So probably just a couple seconds. And then you do so on the other side as well. And then instead of it just like going bam and being there, it'll fade in just like that. There you go. And then it fades in and it'll stay solid for the entire time between these two lines. And then when it gets back to the other side, it'll do the same thing, except it'll go from solid and it'll fade away back to just being a normal video. So there you go guys, that's uh, how you overlay an image on a video in Sony Vegas and also how you can make it fade in and out. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, hopefully it was helpful, hopefully it was helpful, sorry. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll make new tutorials later. See ya.